lounging, son. Welcome back to the Comic Lounge. My name is Ryan, and I am talking about a book I have wanted to read for so long. Long out of print. The singles are expensive. But now we have a hardcover collection. It's Godzilla by James Stoko, the Del deluxe edition. Huge James Stoko fan. Godzilla, I... I wouldn't necessarily say I'm a huge Godzilla fan. I like Godzilla. I've watched plenty of Godzilla movies, but it's not like it's something I seek out. But I have to say, you know, some of the more recent Godzilla stuff has really piqued my interest. You know, Andrew McLean and Jake Smith have a new one called War for Humanity that's been coming out. And there's been some other cool series that have also, you know, Here There Be Dragons is another series that's been going on by Frank Thierry and Anaki Miranda. But this is the one I've been waiting for. This is the one I have been wanting to check out for the longest time. And finally, it is here. James Stoko does it all. Story and art. Heather Breckel is on color assist on the Half Century War. So this is collecting the Half Century War and Godzilla in Hell. It's insane, dude. I mean, the level of detail that Stoko puts in his art. And this is important to note, too, is that each one takes place you know, in another decade. So this one takes place in 1954. And like the title of this series is, The Half Century War, it's gonna take place you know over a half a century and we meet Oda Murakami and he is gonna be like our main focal point throughout this series because this whole series is him going after Godzilla for a half a century you know he has Kentaro his his uh, partner and as they're going through and, and just destruction Godzilla just like I mean the level of destruction that takes place this is what you want to see in a Godzilla book. Just seeing like how many tiny details he puts in. It's, I mean, I don't know what size he's drawing on, but I would have to imagine maybe a little bit bigger than 11 by 17. Not sure. You know, everybody's getting killed and that's the whole impetus is like Oda and, uh, and Ken are the only ones that are going to end up coming out unscathed from this as hundreds of people die. And I love this when you hear the sound of him charging up and he like just shoots that blast. It's fucking crazy, dude. Like almost like Godzilla's oblivious, you know? And getting to see the scope too, like I forgot to say, like that's super important. Like seeing how tiny the car is as opposed to him. And you can see like here he's a young man. They're, you know, they're wondering like, where's the second group? Where's our backup? There is none coming, dude. Like they just have to get the hell out of town. You see the people running, the trolley, everybody trying to get out. And this is like right after Godzilla is, you know, created by this, you know, the radiation that, you know, has enlarged him. And now he has all these powers. Obviously, if you know Godzilla, you know that he can shoot those blasts out of his mouth. I love this too, as Godzilla is just like taking fire. Nothing's happening. It's not affecting him in the least. And just the power of when he blasts. And then this tail, like as you know, they're they're on they're running away, but the tail's coming, and as they're going, this building is just coming down upon them. Hard right, hard right. To me, this is probably one of the most perfect Godzilla books I've ever read. I've read a few Godzilla comics, not a ton, seen the movies, but like this is the perfect blend of having the human touchstone for us as the reader to kind of get us into this world of Godzilla. But then equally getting to see Godzilla destroy and attack. And as you move forward, like, oh, dude, look at this. This is this is one of my favorite shots, too, is like you see this tank like just up on an angle right here. And Ota is just like standing there. And, then, you know, even saying this is my first taste. I was still alive and I damn sure wasn't going to forget about it. You know, and they think Godzilla's gone, but little do they know that's not, not the case. And so they're, you know... They're told like that they did well in Tokyo, saved a lot of lives, and handled yourselves well. So they're now going to join this new task force called the AMF, the Anti Megalosaurus Force, and they're going to continue to go after um, all these large creatures. We jump into Vietnam in '67, and Godzilla's on the on the move. He's going for something. Nobody understands like why why he's changing directions, what he's going after. We meet Doc Randall, this, this Scottish uh, scientist who's who's come up with these Maser batteries that are that are designed to take him down, and you can just see like Oda's been through some shit. You know, he's been going after Godzilla for years at this point. I mean, seven years have passed since the previous issue, continuing to take fire, continuing to destroy, and like 
the coloring too is phenomenal i like all the reds even when it's not necessarily like blood it just like just adds to the element of like destruction and then we see this dude coming out of this like old it looks like what was buried under like an old temple almost because of the way that the land is shaped like that and they're like is that another godzilla no it's something new and godzilla obviously was tracking him and now they just go at each other and this is this is the best part about a godzilla comic watching godzilla go after other kaiju boom just back and forth shooting you know throwing himself into a ball like this like porcupine type character and just the weight of that tail like whipping around and i love this too because as you can see like godzilla sees him coming in the eye just boom just knocks him down they drop this like payload on him like all these bombs and they don't do shit just nothing can take godzilla out spiky one's tunneling away we'll deal with him later we have to hit godzilla now come on ken let's go and then all of a sudden boom he's just now he's headed home turn towards back towards the sea and they don't know what's going on he goes back and it's like okay look i think we got a bigger problem than we thought with that the weaponry that they were using to take godzilla down now they're in ghana 1975 now eight years have passed since you know this this incident and in that time all these different kaiju come out we got angurius then rodan in the philippines batra megalon kumanga mothra ebra hedora more and more and now he's like you know what his eyes looks like it's been like taken out complete and utter destruction we meet and now some of their tech got stolen and we see that there's this dr deverich uh out of uh scientists out of america and the lead designer of the psionic transmitter and once his project was shut down he took all his research so all his research data and just disappeared and he's now managed to weaponize his his technology and it's now a monster attractor so it's like making all these kaiju come out and that's when we learned the names of all the different kaiju like in case you know like myself like i'm not super well versed in all in all the names and what they look like so definitely cool to see that like all these soldiers that are in the task force to take them down and we see this on the bottom with all the different kaiju and it's crazy to think about like you know like this guy like just continues to have to go from deck years and years and years of fighting i love this too as we see their van driving through and all the battling going on all the destruction again the heavy use of red to depict not necessarily just death because i mean obviously there's people dying there but um just the everything getting destroyed by them we got hedora and they just like drive right through them and that splorch sound oh my god i won't get too much into like what the the details of like the the characters are doing but you know they are going after deverich this is now an adversary that they're they have to take care of as well as going after the kaiju now we go to 1987 in bombay this this one was like one of my favorite issues like you see all these people just running around they've developed a new strategy to take care of godzilla and oda wants to be the one wielding it but it's somebody else and it's mecha godzilla and they just go at it in, in the in the city and all the wild average is like on the run we see oda like sees him he's an older man now and then he sees the machine that's like attracting um everybody and boom when it's attracting we see all these like little crystals come down from the sky and then we see something coming from it it's space godzilla another crazy fucking design i love this there was a recently a space godzilla one shot idw did that was absolutely phenomenal by matt frank so good highly recommend it and in this he's like you've brought us another godzilla and you see them now space godzilla is going after mecha godzilla and godzilla but what else can you do you got to team up with godzilla now because two godzillas are better than one and oda climbs in tells his soldier to get out and he's going to take over mecha godzilla and they both proceed to attack and just utter destruction, man. And they're able to take him out. And now we go to 2002, the end of the world. Mechagodzilla is now back in action. He's old. He's, you know, you can see he's obviously dying. I would imagine maybe cancer or something from all the cigarettes he smokes. We have Gigant and King Ghidorah. They, as he says, they call them. And they're now destroying shit. Godzilla comes out of the water so it's weird because it's like godzilla's 
you could say he's evil, maybe misunderstood, he's destroying stuff, but in the end he's also useful when he's taking out these other kaiju that are at some point in some ways a little bit more destructive than he is. Phenomenal art. The le- like again, the level of detail I think is what really sells this. I think it's you know, kind of like when Jeff Darrow does stuff, which I'm a super huge fan of Jeff's work. Um, James Stoko to me is like in that same school of artists. Two again, two Godzillas are better than one, and they take him out. I love this too, as he fucking straight through, and you see this like black hole take them out, and and this is this is like where we get the final thing. Look at me, you damn monster! I'll make you notice me. And he's like, stubborn to the very end. Thanks for seeing me off, big guy. It's been quite the journey. And boom, the destruction of everything. And we see Godzilla's not quite done, dude, because we see the spikes coming up out of the water. Great story. I'm so glad I was able to finally read that Half Century War. And then this, Godzilla in Hell. We see him plummeting through this doorway into Hell. And this is exactly what you'd want in a Godzilla in Hell, man. Abandon all hope, ye who enter here. Like, what? He can't read that, you know. But we know what it means. And he just, just blasted away and just stomping his way through, through hell. We see this like ocean of people that are down there. Some weird creature comes and attacks him, and then we see this like demon Godzilla. I don't know if this. I don't know if this is from like a movie or anything. Like, if 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 it is please you know mention in the comments i'm not sure but it's funny that we get to see this like evil version of godzilla going after the godzilla we know and just creepy as hell all those teeth just like tendrils grabbing him and slamming him around no dialogue necessary this is just a knockdown brawl between two kaiju in hell and godzilla seems to walk away nope now he's going back down again. So this is his own personal hell, I would imagine. Or he's just, this is what he does when he dies. And he's just going to keep cycling through it. And we get some covers for some of the issues in the collections. And then even a couple other books that Godzilla, that James Stoko did for covers on like Oblivion. Phenomenal, man. Get some pencils and inks. Look at that. Just crazy. Wonder how long it would take him to do a page. It has to, has to take him a long time because this is just so much detail in every single. There's not one page that's not. But phenomenal book. If you're like me and you've been wanting to read this story for a long time, now's the time. Go pick this up. I can't say enough good things about it. James Stoko, one of the best cartoonists in the biz right now, and this is probably, I think the the pinnacle of Godzilla comics. For me, at least. I haven't read everything, but as of right now, this is the pinnacle. And go check it out. Uh, This is going to be in that Halloween horror playlist because this is a monster. This is Kaiju. So um, check that out as well. Make sure you like, follow, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you're notified every time a new vid drops. And on that note, I'm out.